Hello again. This is a third part of the tutorial showing the process of creation of a tune character in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, in this part, uh, we will do uh, the head and the uh, glass helmet of the character and the gun, and uh, we will try to uh, simulate uh, backlight. And uh, we will apply uh, final shadows. And uh, I will be using, uh, as uh, in previous part, uh, radial gradients. Uh, and in this part, I will uh, use uh, masking technique. Uh, I will add uh, a small movie uh, covering uh, masking in, uh, in some other time. I will try it this week uh, to show you details how to do uh, it. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions uh, regarding the whole tutorial, um, please. Uh, please ask them in uh, in comments, and I will try to uh, cover uh, it in this supplementary tutorial. Uh, so, okay, right now I'm uh, doing the uh, basic shading of the uh, character's head. I'm only using black and white because uh, the uh, head will be uh, covered. Uh, uh, with a glass helmet, so the colors will be uh, affected by the uh, color of the glass. So uh, right now, the information about color is not uh, necessary. Or uh, in this moment, I am using uh, the technique of, of uh, masking. I uh, created a shape with a gradient, and uh, then applied a mask. Or with uh, also a gradient, uh, that way I uh, achieved a smooth uh, transition uh, with, with, uh, with the gradient uh, and uh, the colors uh, changes fluently. Okay, now we'll do uh, shadows. Uh, this is just a basic shadow. I'm not uh, doing any extra uh, amount of, of work. Just a simple shape, black shape, uh, with uh, multiply and 50% uh, uh, opacity. This is a tune character, so uh, it was my decision uh, not to make it too realistic uh, when it comes to uh, shading. Uh, then again, it's uh, it's a vector illustration. It's uh, not always uh, uh, too easy to achieve photorealistic effect. Uh, to be honest, it's it's it's, it's uh, rather difficult make it look realistic and uh, I wanted to keep this character as uh, simple as possible and uh, yet uh, achieve some degree of, of, uh, of uh, realism just to keep the basic uh, light and shadow 
Okay, now we are doing uh, the glass helmet. As you can t as you can see, uh, the uh, color of the glass is affecting the color of the character's head. So there was no use to use any other colors in black and white. Mm. I did some uh, simple uh, tricks with gradients to achieve uh, the illusion of uh, very smooth uh, glass surface. The um, blue layer that simulates uh, glass uh, is uh, used uh, with uh, uh, hard light uh, layer style. Excuse me, mixing style. And uh, now some uh, secondary. Uh, Players to make it look real, but uh, it didn't work as well as I thought it will. So I did it, and uh, otherwise, those, those are simple shapes with uh, radial gradients uh, with uh, alpha. And now the gun. And this is uh, sort of. Uh, uh, high polished surface with uh, lots of uh, highlights as you can see uh, the uh, lines of the shape are uh, basically in some uh, color variation of the uh, of the main color of the gun so it's uh, red, brown and yellow. Uh, the the um, most of the character has a black outline just because uh, it's kept in uh, black and white uh, colors. So there was really no use for for other uh, colors, but I usually uh, tend to keep my uh, outlines in uh, as a variation of uh, color of the uh, shape. Yeah, and in this part, I wanted to uh, make some uh, highlight on the surface surface of the gun. I tried to make it uh, by applying. Uh, mm, Gauss uh, smoothing, uh, uh, blurring. I'm sorry, and uh, it didn't work well. I uh, usually tend to uh, use as as small as small as possible uh, when it comes to using any bitmaps, because uh, it's always a good idea to keep a vector graphic just a pure vector. So I. Uh, did it without any uh, blur. A blur effect will be used uh, to achieve uh, backlight effect. This will be a combi combination of uh, blur effect and uh, masking. Some hi highlights and uh, gun is done. Now some uh, reflection on the on the helmet, just to keep uh, more or less realistic.
Okay, and now uh, shadows. Again, just a simple shape, black shape, with uh, multiplayer and 50% opacity. I didn't try to make those shadow the shadows very accurate and just to show some some uh, general light direction. And now the backlight. This is uh, just a simple shape with 50% uh, opacity and uh, blur, blur uh, effect applied. Now I am creating mask and applying the mask. This is uh, how I achieve the uh, glow effect on the, the uh, back of the character. I'm just copying the uh, actor's arm. Um, I merged merged all, sh all shapes to create a simple mask. I find it the quickest way to create masks. Some adjustments. I will probably add, uh, beside the supplementary uh, to the old tutorial, I will probably add uh, one more part, uh, but without commentary, um, and that will show the process of creation of uh, background, because uh, I will not be using any new techniques in there, so there's really no point to comment. And if you have uh, questions about that part, then maybe I will do some supplemental to the supplemental. And the character, character is almost finished. Just a simple background to, to make it look better. And... Uh, that's it, that's the uh, Toon character created in Adobe Illustrator uh, completely. No any other software was used. This is the complete image of the character. So, uh, hope you like it, have fun. And don't be scared of Illustrator, I know it looks terrifying at the beginning, I was terrified too, but it's a really great program, so have fun.